have you been? I have had better, but life moves on. It does. And Ella? She's okay. It hit her head as you may expect, but she's a strong girl too. Oh, yes, she is. How are you handling everything? It's challenging, honestly, but it will get better. That's good. We last met at the funeral, right? Yes, we did. You've been quite scarce, I might say. Yes, and it was either that or running mad. And Ella has not made it easy on me lately. Yeah, but you can't blame her. She looked up to her dad and wanted to take after him, his career, everything. So it was pretty stressful on her part. I'm sure you understand. I do, believe me. But she'll be okay with time. I don't think that is accurate. Why? What is wrong? You don't know what she did, do you? What did she do? She hired lawyers to challenge dad's will. What? Yes, or I get to pay her 800 million shillings. What? This has gone too far. Listen, I needed to talk to you about what I think you know very well. What is that? I read all Dad's journals. He also left a tip, so I know everything about you and Ellen. Okay. Does she know? No, she doesn't. It's not surprising that she would do what she's doing, but this is a very bad move. I know. Her lawyer has made some serious threats and plans to expose not only my personal weakness but also expose dad's relationships. And that is not something we need right now, considering... I know. I will try to talk to her. I think you need to tell her the truth. It will be very devastating when she finds out with the rest of the world. Because at the rate at which things are unfolding, I think it's just a matter of time. You know, she deserves to know the truth from you. I agree. But if I'm to ask, and please forgive me for asking this way, why have you not told her yet? I have not gathered the courage and strength to tell her. I think you have no choice now. It will devastate her, but it will be considerably worse later, you know? Okay. I will talk to her. I'll see you around. I have to attend to something urgently. Say hi to her for me. I will. Chloe, these must be tough times for you. They are, but I don't expect anything less. Indeed. Your father spoke highly of you. Did he? Every time. And I know that there was no more deserving person than you. I'm starting to doubt it. I mean, it's supposed to be a team, but I have no team members. Come on. You know that is not true. Is it not? Listen. Mr. Kasozi prepared everything for you to the last detail. He knew this day was coming and you have to be strong for him. Okay, back to the subject matter, Amy. Oh, yes. My dad said you have the silver bullet to Morris. Morris is known to play hard tricks. Well, he is planning to blackmail me and I don't have time. It's time to pull out the big gun, huh? Yes, it's either now or never. Time to put this to rest once and for all. Okay, you'll have the signed documents on your desk first thing in the morning tomorrow. Thank you. No problem. I'm sorry, Dad. Where is Ella? She's not home. I don't understand. I called you here, not Ella. I got the message from Ella's phone. It was I that sent it. Listen, I need to talk with you. Okay, what about? 
I am informed that you and Ella are planning to go to court to challenge my late husband's will. Yes. She hired me to contest the will. I see. Well, I need you to drop it. I don't understand. I thought this is what you wanted. Is that what she told you? I mean, I am fighting the case for you and her. Well, I was not consulted for this and I am not ready to do that. So please, you will be dropping the case. Thank you. I am sorry. I don't think I can do that. I'm sorry? Ella hired me, and she only has the right to drop it. I am her mother. And she is 18 years Miss Kasozi, capable of making decisions for herself. She is my client, and she hired me to do the job here. I intend to see it through, unless it's Ella herself that terminates the deal. Miss Shelley, this is a family matter. I want you to respect that. As it turns out, it's also a legal matter now. Can't you see? This will bring a whole lot of shame to my family. It is not even months after the death of my husband and now people will hear that my daughters are in court fighting over his money. It doesn't bode well. I sympathize about how it looks, but again, there's nothing much I can do. You could tell her you can't represent her. Miss Kasozi, I have to go now. How is she even paying you for this? It's not important, and I am not comfortable discussing my client's case with you. Your client is my daughter. Even so, I am going ahead with their case. Fine, at least give me a few days to talk to my daughter before you bring shame and cause me and my family inexorable damage. Okay. Thank you. My agent had concerns on the duration of the contract. She wasn't comfortable with four years? She recommended three. Is that what you want? I want five. Okay. Done. Anything else? No. I think that covers it all. Perfect. I will have my legal team draft up the contract and send them to you for signing and we can get down to business. Thank you. And just so you know, I believe in you. Thank you. I appreciate the bold moves you make and despite what everyone out there thinks, I believe in you. And I know I am safe and in the right hands. That is thoughtful. Thank you. Okay. See you in a bit. I have a shoot. Okay, I will be in touch. I want to say something, boss. Say it then. You have proved to everyone that doubted you. That... By everyone, you mean yourself? Including myself. <laughs> yes, everybody's too quick to judge. Yes. Sometimes we rush to judge people without really giving them a chance. And at the end of the day, we eat our own words. I hope they test good at least. It's not a good experience. What is the status of the film production? The team will be ready next week. I was told yesterday. Well, I don't know much about film production and the technical aspects, so I will not be of much help there. Me too. It was all Alusias in that department. I know someone else who knows everything in that department. Who is that? My sister, Ella. How so? She studied film and drama at university. She wanted to take after dad. I see. No wonder she's very passionate about this company. Why do you say that? I saw her on the news yesterday. On the news? Yes. You didn't see her? No. She was. She's the best person for that now. So, how are you going to handle that? 
I'll get her to come and help in managing the creative department. For now, I want to first get done with my small family matter. Next week, I'll meet the creative team. Okay. It's not about playing nice anymore. Chloe understands what an eye for an eye means. But with so much at stake, what will happen? Like and subscribe to follow the story when the next episode drops. Here is what is coming up. Sophia? What are you doing here? Mr. Morris, Sophia is my mother. What? My father never trusted you and afraid to let his work go down the drain, he pretended to sell his shares only to sell them to himself through a different name. And what best than to use his mistress's name. That way, you would never suspect a thing